Good morning students, welcome back to our science online class. Today we are going to learn about miscible and immiscible. So what is mean by miscible? So miscible means when the two solutions mix together or two liquids mix together. That is called the miscible. So you see, when two liquids can be mixed to form a solution. So when two liquids mix together to form a solution is called miscible sorry are called miscible for example when making lemon juice we mix two liquids lemon juice plus water so lemon juice completely dissolved in water or mixed in water and form a solution one more example water and rose Okay, if you mix the water and rose serum, so you will get the solution that is called the miscible solution. In that, both the solution mix together. That is called the miscible solution. Okay, or miscible liquids. When two liquids cannot be mixed to form a solution, they are called immiscible solution. For example, the both the li two liquids, but they are not. Or, uh, both liquids cannot be mixed to each other. Simple example, you can do this activity at home also. One oil and second example that is the water. So if you take the oil and water and try to, try to mix them, what happens? So you cannot mix them. Actually, oil has less density than the water and that is why it starts floating on the water surface and you can see the two layers in the container or glass so first layer is of water and second layer is of gas so these two types of liquids called immiscible liquids which cannot mix together so such type of liquids are called immiscible example oil and water now next gases as solutes okay so gases and solutes means some gases are there that gases mixed in water or dissolved in water for example oxygen and carbon dioxide see here even gases dissolved in water just now i say oxygen gas and carbon dioxide gas both gases can dissolve in water that is why the aquatic animals get the oxygen in the form of dissolved. This is what makes it possible so many species of plants and animals to survive in water. Okay, so that dissolved oxygen utilized by the aquatic animals as well as the carbon dioxide gas utilized by the aquatic plants to make their food by the process of photosynthesis. They are able to do so due to the oxygen dissolved in water. Dissolved carbon dioxide makes the aerated things to fizzy. So this is about the gaseous as solutes. So here students, our chapter number 8 finished. In next video, we will see the exercise of this chapter.